My name is Anika, and I'm back here again as a model for Theo because he does awesome stuff to my hair and I want another awesome hairdo. Okay, and we're going to do some awesome things because you want a new color and you want it into purple lines. Yes. And you want a symmetrical hairstyle. Asymmetrical hairstyle, please. Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, it's time for you and the rest of the world to show what you have now. And your background models like it, think, I think. <laughs> Also that you're back again. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Hello friends on YouTube. I'm going to do a hair. And this uh, one week before Christmas. So we're going to make some wonderful Christmas stuff. Make it a jolly for Christmas. <laughs> ho ho ho. I love Christmas by the way. I love the songs. I like the dingle bells. Ding along, ding along, ding along. <laughs> sing a song, sing a song. Now this is just a normal bob, so you can see in all shops make this. I will create an asymmetrical hairstyle, I will take this side totally off and I will leave some length on the front. And what I like the most of her is she has a wonderful face, so I open up this face line because now it's like uh, a doggy. <laughs> <laughs> How much is that doggy in the window? Do you know the song? No. I wonder if that dog is for sale. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old song. Wow. Of course, I start with uh, wetting the hair. And normally, when I do the people here and they want to grow a buff, I cut them with a hot scissor because it's not that dry. And now it's totally dry in the ends. So, that's what worries me the most. But we create something beautiful of it. Now I'm going to study her hair because it's a long time ago that I did her hair and I want to create a nice line so I have to be aware of the fall of the hair and about the lines of the skull because they are very important to make a good hairstyle. If you don't copy the lines of the skull it, it's hard to make a good hairstyle. You get something like a wig. So just part it over the lines, I think, are for her the most suitable lines. And she wants to leave a little bit at the front, a little bit length, so playable side beard. So that I'm going to do for her. And let's start with cut. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God it's happening. <laughs> and to me. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is to take away the front. That I don't want in this hairstyle. Make a nice clean cut. And make the hair that lay upon it a lot playable. And I love to style with it because then I can do something more than just have some hair. So now I can see your lovely face again. Fine <laughs> <And a> lipstick. <laughs> Super fine. <laughs> okay, lifting the hair up with my scissor, hold it in the lines of the skull line, follow the eyebrow line, and just take the first lines roughly up. Holding the same line. Go into the curve of the skull bone. And when you do this this way, you have more than the wonderful lines you get because it's wonderful to see what the lines do. And this goes a lot easier when you, uh, if you part hair, you don't see this. It's a little difficult because I stand on the sides. The front is a little bit difficult for me to cut, but I do it from the other side. Makes me a little bit easier. And go out. <laughs> you 
Ja, leuk hè? Nog steeds YouTuber. Ja. Yeah. The side beard is really a little bit longer. Part, uh, just a small part of it. Don't need ultra thick side beards. That'd be weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a weird something like beard. Yeah, or like the Jewish curls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the girl with the Jewish curls. That would be nice for her. Title of a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I, maybe some people would be offended. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> you have to be tolerant in this world. Yes, I do agree. So now I created my first wonderful lines. Now go back to the other side. <laughs> Wet hair a bit. Now she wants to leave this long. So I take this back to the back. Go in at the start by the ear. And take it totally back. Then I have my first fall of the nice side beard. in natural falls and just gently with the tip of my scissor make it to a wonderful side beard lay the upper hair aside take the under hairs down and clean it up Coming at the ear. It's winter time, so don't make clipper uh, cut on the sides because that would be too short for now. Coming be behind the ears, leaning on the hairs, pulling him to the front. And the upper hair will connect with the hot eraser. Because then I have the best result on her hair. The contour lines I do with the clipper. Lekker rustig, hè? Oh, Maandag is zo'n heerlijke rustig. <laughs> yeah. Lay the hairs to the front again. Make a nice soft contour line. And just on the lines I do with a clipper. Moet je dat vertalen? Ik denk niet dat er een goede vertaling voor is. Just correcting the line a little bit. Make sure I have a wonderful flow. And the hair is here bent to the front. So I go in from the side, take them to the center and then go to the front. Just go in the opposite lines of the natural form. I corrected the side bit a bit because I stood aside and it's difficult to cut. So now it's the way it should be. So now I've got my, me the first line for this uh, asymmetrical line. Go to the back, part it a bit, not too much. Now I have to watch because I want to keep the length at the front, but I have some over length behind the ear that I don't want because I want to get on the skull bone and to create that wonderful line. Go in. Lean with my comb on the under part of the skull bone and take my first line off. I love the sound of the snipping of the blades. As a hairdresser I do, but I know there are also a lot of viewers who love this sound.
turn it a little bit back. Go back to the rounding and connect it. Boom, 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 boom. I always have songs in my mind. I don't know where they come from, but sometimes I hear something and I think about a song. I'm not the best singer, but I love to do all kind of things with music. Music was my first love, it will be my last. <laughs> ah, music of the future, music of the past. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Now I have to watch because I have some length here at the front and then this is the part where I told about is hanging over it. So I take just a little bit away and make hold it a little bit longer because otherwise I can't correct the line anymore. But you have to copy the line that's laying there. The other lines I will certainly make uh, in a dark color. Clean the contour line with my clipper. First finish this. It makes it easier. And she has a wonderful neckline. So I will certainly use her natural folds. It's a bit of Christmas neckline. <laughs> w uh, neckline. So it looks a little bit like a star. <laughs> and when you would make a, a star in it, because now it's just a week in front of Christmas, it is be uh, yeah, grown out in, uh, in two weeks. So if you want to enjoy it, that Christmas feeling and have a tattoo art, you always can do that on your hair because it, yeah, you don't see it in two weeks. Then it's gone. Not shave it up like I would do in the summertime, just let it a little bit longer. Correcting the line I just cut in a freehand style. Make a nice connection to the underlines. And that I do by peeling off the hair with this clipper. I only do this in this part. Because I want to leave this in a strong line. Now I go back to the front. Now first wet the hair. And I make first the, the short side because that's the most important side. It's also the most visible side because Everybody will see this and not the longer side. But now you can see the difference when it was long. It was looking like this and now it looks like this. There's a lot of difference. What I told you is that I would do it with a hot uh, razor. This hot razor is from Iago. And I hold it in a very natural soft line so I don't pull on the hair. I just softly hold between my fingers so the natural curves and everything come back to the hair and stay in. And I let it lean on the line that's laying beneath because it gives a playable effect afterwards because this color is totally different than the color I make uh, on the sides. 
coming out the back and do the same pulling the hair to the front give it just a playable effect see how wonderful the structure is of her hair and when I thin it out with the tip of my knife then I just take it up and with the tip of my knife play in her take out some thickness otherwise it still looks like a wig Germany I love it I had a customer from Berlin last week mm. it's also nice and one that came in just standing in front of my uh, mirror, uh, windows uh -huh. with uh, her man and a daughter. Uh -huh. And they always look at my YouTube videos. <laughs> and then they came in <laughs> two weeks in front of Christmas and asked, can I have a haircut because I always watch your videos. That is so cool. Yeah, so I, I, I don't have this uh, time anymore because I'm full, completely filled in. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I always have some breaks. so. <laughs> I did it in the break. Wow. And now she's coming back in seven weeks. Wow. That's also awesome. That is a long way to come for air. Yeah, it's uh, 1100 kilometers. Wow, wow, wow. By car. <laughs> By plane also, but then <laughs> it's a little shorter. Depends where you stay, uh, uh, go out of the plane. Yeah. If you go in Amsterdam, the air is the extra 200 kilometers. Yeah. In the meantime, I just play with the hair, I follow the natural lines and when I come at the back, there's a difference because when I get here, I take the hairs to the front and lay them in the line but when I get to the back, I just go into the line I just softly lay the hairs over the skull bone to the other side and she don't feel anything of this because this knife not pulls on the hair And it only takes away the dry ends and that we can miss. <laughs> yes. Yes. As Kiespijn. Ah, that's Dutch. That's what I also said. I'm not going to say It's always difficult to translate a lot of things. See how wonderful playable it is. No hard lines, just flowing over. Gives a wonderful soft feeling. Now come to the back. Now come to the part. What I told you, just laying it down and lay it in the line of falling. Just gently go in. And this I want to keep as smooth as possible because I need the weight of the hair. I need to lay over the skull bone because this gives us wonderful playable effect afterwards with the colors. And otherwise it's just a stiff line and don't want that. This point behind the ears is a thick part. So that I thin out a little bit. But I can yeah, have some less weight at the front. And the nice thing is that I can hear the hissing of this blade because it's 190 degrees so it's a lot but when my hands are wet and my hairs are also a little bit wet I don't burn it just hiss when I do this take the upper line take the upper line to the back and just this part in the ends I give a little bit playable effect not much just a little bit and only the upper part so the parts that lay on top on the fall of the skull just with the tip of my knife and not much because this is the only part I take off now it's getting a shape
come at the front. And she has that wonderful <laughs> curve in her. So that of a wet first. Now I have to, what I decided there is that it has a strange curve. This part is also a little bit curved. Now this part I just connect to the part I've made on the front. Go in there gently with my knife make it softer. So just the facial line that's laying beneath it has some softness and the side beard I created on the short side will also be on this longer side. Just take away that nasty curly effect it has because <laughs> now it has a wonderful soft effect. And my Christmas phone is ringing. And then I start on the side beard. So first I take up the telephone. Now I took a part on the sides. This one I will do with a hot razor because it's easier to do. Putting the hairs to the back. Go in and this side beam may be a little bit stronger because it's laying under the lines so it don't have to be as soft as on the short side. Just some wonderful part when you lay the hairs be behind the ears you have a wonderful comeback of a side beard. Correct the facial line. And I can also bring the hard color that I use on the sides back to this small part. Now free the hair. And now that nasty curl is gone, <laughs> I have more relaxed feelings in it. Pull the hair to the back. Watch how my skull bone walks and travels over the wonderful lines I created. And just copy the lines into my cutting lines. And just move with it. So it's not a hard line, just a playable line till the end. On this side I need the weight of the upper hair because it's also a little bit in layers. What I don't like about it, but what is is. I didn't create the last haircut. Get rid of the split ends, I go softly over with my hot knife. Take the hairs that split on the upper layers by this way because they jump out and I can take them out. I'm going to create a wonderful uh, purple color on there because. The wonderful thing about purple colors is that in the winter time you can make them. In the summer they are uh, get very fast out of your hair because the uh, sun is taking them out. But in winter they stay for a long time and look wonderful. Coming to the front lines because there are layers in it. I have to take this into a line. And I'll Again, I copy just the lines of a facial lines. So I go in into the natural lines, enjoying her because yeah, I love beautiful women. I think God made wonderful women. <laughs> That's the nicest thing in the world. And then children, 
And they're men. <laughs> <laughs> Create some softness in this part also because the seat is still a little bit dry. I want to do this with a hot razor. You see, immediately the ends are nicer, softer, and glowing. Now, this is my hairstyle, and now I can color it. Oh. I love the shapes. <laughs> <laughs> We're starting with the coloring and it will be special because it's Christmas time. I wet the hair a little bit. I leave the telephone ringing because we're not open yet and I can't work when I'm still every time on the telephone. I lay the part that I'm left a little bit longer to the side and start in the underlines with my blue black color part the hair to the side the blue black is a 170 of uh, Lacme I will use it in the front line work to the back Over to the back, and just in the short on the lines, I give this color on that. I lay a plastic foil laying about one or two millimeters of the dark colored hair also on the foil, so I'm certain I've got all the hairs in the right color. And the second color I'm going to use is a reddish purple color. It's a 6.59 plus. It's the most reddish color they have. And I applied a little bit blue in it because I want to create a purple red. So I take some hairs out. And this is just a small part of hair what I do the, with this color. Just for the playable effect. This is a light purple color. I can lay some foil on it. The nice thing about plastic foils is that you can work very easy with them. It's very nice to work. And then I created a deep purple color. It's uh, 422 plus, it's, that is already a purple color, and I applied to that uh, two centimeters of uh, blue black, and I did, did also some blue in, and the blue of Lacme colors is a 070. And I'm going to work on this foil because otherwise I can't play with the other side, it makes it hard for me to color that. So I apply the color and then I lay all the color back on the foil till I get on the other side. Now I created uh, this line, so I took all the color to the back on this side. Upon this I lay again a foil. Now I come in with my reddish color, I told you I would give it a playable effect in the underlines. So I left some parts over, and that I give that reddish uh, purple color. It's ultra soft, but you can see it when the hair is styled. This to cover up again with my foil, and the other parts will be dark. And this way I filled in all the colors that I wanted. And then I'm going to wait uh, for 30 minutes 
rinse it out I'm co coming to show you how I style this hair and how it looks and how wonderful her Christmas will be <laughs> and mine too because I love her I'm always glad that a model comes back to me because I love to work with models I know because they give me as also a stability in working for you because I don't see them in the mirror and now I can see her only this small because I have that little mirror but it's very nice when you know somebody because she is also representing me in the video so don't forget that I love plastic foil. <laughs> you do? Plastic, fantastic. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay, we're back from coloring. So now I'm going to blow dry a hair. I'm going to use a straight product because I don't want a lot of volume in it. I just want a playable effect and a lot of movement. So that's why I use this product from Lanza. Nice thing about Lancer products is always smell wonderful. And the nice thing for you is that I can go outside and show also the colors outside because it's daytime, so normally I work at night, but now I have sunlight outside, so you can see the colors a lot better outside than inside. Start blow drying with a large brush, start in the underlines, building my hairstyle up. Ja, dat is een mooie kleur. Zeker weten. Hopelijk zien ze het kerstmaal nog als je aanschuift. <laughs> Vast wel. <laughs> Duurt misschien even. Ik moet zorgen dat ik iets eerder ben. Ja. Nou jongens, even naar mijn haar kijken. Ja? En wie is die grote schaal op die op tafel ligt? <laughs> ben jij dan? <laughs> ik dacht even dat jullie me niet zouden zien. <laughs> Het lijkt me wel grappig. Zou het ook zeker zijn. Nou, voor zover blow drying. Now I'm going to use the iron to straighten it out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to straighten the hair a little bit because I want to get more glow out of it. Put my iron on 200 degrees Celsius. Take the hairs up. Go in with my comb. Catch it, otherwise it lays on the skin and that's hot. And do this layer by layer, of course. Working smoothly with it. Put the iron in, put my comb beneath it and in front. Just gently move down. See what glow does, because it glows like hell. <laughs> and it gives that ultra smooth feeling. Okay, now all the hair is nice smooth. What I'm going to use now is this serum of Lanza, because that gives it the ultimate treat. brings also out colors and the shine and it not greases there and it smells really nice and it smells really nice <laughs> mm. 
Okay, just have to clean the contour line with my knife. Set out this wonderful neckline. And now she's ready to have Christmas time. Okay, my love, you may show this new hairstyle to the world. Ta da! Does it feel right? It feels absolutely right. <laughs> yes, it does. You get the Christmas spirit? Yes, yes, this is like the biggest present ever. Okay, <laughs> thank you very much for modeling again. Thank you. Okay, and have a nice Christmas. Will do. Okay.